We're now going to see who is victorious between these two. Tatiana Western Webb, the Hawaiian, will be out there in the red. Joanne de Fay, representing France, will be out there in the blue. Should be a good battle between two former Rookie of the Year on and winners. And uh, this is going to be a great fight. Two of the young guns have already had a top 10 finishes on the CT. It's been impressive to see. Really has, and uh, I, I love the the evolution from Joanne De Fay. In the last heat, Bianca Batenda, she went on the attack when she didn't have priority. She put some pressure on Bianca, but it is going to be Tatiana getting this wave. This will be the best wave of the heat so far. Just the throwaway for Joanne De Fay on her first ride, and Tatiana just working this wave over. Does a great job of just whipping that board vertically. But on that occasion, the wave just a little flat, so hard to get that transition happening. This is going to be a really fun heat to pick apart the two different styles. A lot of contrast. Well, here goes Joanne now. Kicked off her round four heat with a big number. Started this one with a throwaway score. And she's going to elect to kick out because Tatiana Western Webb yeah, she, that's one thing she does not lack, for sure. Her mom and dad did a, a great job raising her on Kauai in Hawaii with uh, self-belief. And that's big for these athletes. You know, it's not a team sport. You're out there alone, so you have to have that confidence. Owen Wright, he kind of took a similar line on these long walls. But Tatiana, she has been working on mixing things up. We'll see what kind of variation Joanne DeFay can show on this ride. Nice turn there. So silky smooth as she waits for this thing to stand up. Not sure there's too much going to happen down the line here. Joanne's just making sure she doesn't leave any meat on the bone. She kicks out way down the line. You said it, silky smooth, and it was. Nice surfing from Joanne. Kind of hard to blame her for all those cutbacks. You know, the wave was a little bit slopey. She didn't have that nice feedback, you know, that coping little bit of wa water coming at you so that you can snap into it. But it was really nice rail work. Let's say it again. There's a steeper bit of wall there, but she wrapped it back. And uh, as soon as she does her snaps, she bottom turns straight back to the shoulder. So it kind of forces you to wrap it back, wrap it back. So if she could have that wave over, maybe if she was really trying to mix it up, she tried to do it there for a second. Just do a baby fade and pivot your bottom turn really sharp so that you can get at your board up into that 12 o'clock just to mix it up. But to be clear, that wave was, uh, you know, kind of produced that same section. So good smooth rail surfing from Joanne. On the back of the ski now, making her way to the top of the point. She'll be second in line, unless Tatiana utilizes priority, and she's going to do that right here. Tatiana always just drops to the bottom, and really that section wasn't too steep, but her approach allowed her to get her board vertical there for a moment. Just whipping through these inside maneuvers and a pretty decent finish there on the inside over the rocks at Little Mali she calls for the ski just over 18 minutes to go give these competitors credit they're fighting they're not waiting for those uh, obvious perfect waves to come in they're trying to stay busy and I like that because uh, you know the, the waves are taking their time right now Ross obviously this event has been a great indicator for who's going to be in the world title race each year. It, it's been heavily dominated, the, the Women's Championship Tour title race, by Stephanie Gilmore, Carissa Moore, Sally Fitzgibbons, Courtney Conlog, and Tyler Wright in recent years. Can either of these competitors elevate themselves into the title race in 2016, or do you think it's going to be more of the same? You know, my short answer, it's going to be more of the same. That being said, in this heat in particular, uh, you know, I think Tatiana Weston Webb has a shot at battling for the world title, but she's going to have to be perfect where we think she has that big advantage, and that's in Fiji. 
Uh, that's in Hawaii. That's in those waves where you know we talked about how she is not afraid of that power. If she can get a couple of wins, then hey, she can get you know herself in the title mix. But you know, Carissa and Steph, they have a pretty big advantage in these types of waves. It definitely seems like Tatiana. She doesn't have that that gnarly history of coming up against those other competitors. So at the moment, she is just so confident and really believes, I think, that she can get in that mix. If she can get herself into the semi-finals of this event, she'll obviously be in the top four going into stop two. I believe that. And, you know, and for, for someone like Tatiana Weston-Webb, she can create her own vibe, just like Courtney did. Courtney wasn't in that conversation a few years ago, and all of a sudden she just placed herself there by winning events, by turning everyone's opinion around. Uh, and so Tatiana, if she simply wins here, all of a sudden, Everyone starts changing her tune. And in the Quicksilver Pro. But here we go. This is Joanne looking for that 2.07. She's going to be looking for an excellent number, though. This wave looks like it might have a couple of big sections down the line. She needs to use this one well. Drives up into the lip. Throws the reverse. Wow. Can she hold on to this move? And I haven't seen that from Joanne DeFay before. That came from nowhere. And I love just how unpredictable that move was. She just slapped us in the face with that thing. Uh, that was really cool from Joanne de Fay. So, you know, we always kind of link her to that smooth carved wrap cutback, uh, and she just completely threw that move in there out of nowhere. That was extremely committed, Ronnie. The, the judge is going to be really stoked on that. Opening cutback. She had a really nice double up on this thing. See that low road right there? It's just about to split in half. So exciting section here. That's that water I was talking about coming at her. What? That's the kind of section you want as a surfer. When you get that coping, that energy coming back at you, you can kick the tail. You have something to bounce off of. Watch her grab the rail. That's what's really impressive about that. That's an athletic move right there. Getting low to your board and basically jamming your board. That's that nose pick. We like to use that term. Your board's not going to naturally fit in that curve, so you have to grab that rail and pick that nose and basically force your board around into that spin. That's a tough move to do, and she jammed it. You know who's got tears of just absolute pride in their eyes at the moment? Jeremy. Jeremy Flores, <laughs> who nails those same maneuvers. And Joanne DeFay, the fact that she pulled that out against Tatiana, who's on the back end and, and really is going to struggle to to find the variety in her maneuvers, that, that might create a bit of diff a difference between the two competitors and especially on the, the scoreboard. We're waiting on the numbers to drop as Tatiana now looks to answer back. Let's see what she can do on the inside. So working hard but really they're kind of windscreen wiper backhand snaps. There's not too many points in them. There's nothing critical about that section. So Tatiana, she needs to tap into a steeper wall because that's when her backhand turns start to look really powerful. 100%. Uh, and, and what I like about Tatiana surfing is she's feisty, she's aggressive. So if she gets a big section, she's not going to steer away from it. Obviously, that was a small wave. Uh, so she didn't have anything to work with. I'm surprised she even gave that wave a look. Well, the number just dropped for Joanne DeFay, a 7.17. And all of the reward coming on the final maneuver. And we've been talking a lot about what the surfers have been working in off, in the off-season. Joanne DeFay, she's solid, but she never really kind of blows your mind with just a, a big, explosive, creative maneuver. If you surf it safe, they will pull you down on the scale. They will go, ah, it was good. You surfed all those sections really well, but you didn't do any high-risk surfing. So I think Tatiana's going to have to really step things up. Joanne's up once again. And really just looking to increase her lead now by bettering a 5.33. She won't do it with that wave, but happy to have a look at it. Yeah, of course. And uh, Jeremy, we just witnessed a maneuver there by one of the people that you really helped kind of launch her career. I mean, she was right there, but you were helpful in uh, you know creating a, a platform for her. Um, Joanne Fay, you must have been pretty proud to watch something like that just happen. Yeah, so proud. That was uh, that was so sick. I don't think I've um, I've ever seen a woman do a, do a turn like that. Because that was a real nose peak, you know, there's a, there's a kind of reverse that it's kind of more flat, but that was like fully extended, like inverted turn. 
I was I was so psyched for her because um, I mean I've never seen any women do that so I was expecting like a huge score yeah. way more than a 717. <laughs> you can go talk to those guys upstairs if you <laughs> no, want. No, no, I, 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 I can't blow up anymore but I might blow up for Joan though maybe. <laughs> In situations like that they just breed more good surfing because Tatiana would then have to go hard but here it is again in case you missed it Joanne DeFay on a nothing wave finds a section and ditches this thing get out of the way seagull <laughs> a lot of things need, you have to have so much belief when you rip into that move you know you got to get upside down and inverted you have to pick the nose and for a couple of seconds you're riding backwards and you're hoping that it, you don't pearl on your tail side so it's a weird momentum thing it's like once you rip into it you just kind of hope it unfolds the way you want it to screaming out letting you know that someone's just executed a big turn well, your ears, ears are already bleeding, so let's see what happens here. Tatiana Western Webb fighting for the number. 7.53 is the requirement. She's found one that's sticking to the bank. And taking off behind her is Joanne DeFay. And I think it's pretty safe to say that the surfer from Reunion Island has just cracked the semi-finals. Previously, Ross had been passed the second round in this event. Uh, she is going to be so stoked, and, and on top of that, she pulled off an amazing maneuver. So she kind of accomplished two different things. Obviously, she got a great result, and she just threw down the gauntlet. That was a you know, really cool move.